Hello there, I am Giant Grove with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part we got here to this route, it stopped raining on this part of the route, so that's really nice. I think we already went over here to the water, so in the last part. Uh, here's a Bug Maniac, I wanna check who's up like front. And we'll put Peter up front, I guess. Peter can take on this Bug Maniac. I think this guy has like 3 star skits and I think that's about it. We'll have to see. Went to battle. You were very quiet there at first, you know. Very quiet. Bug catcher, Je uh, not bug catcher, bug maniac, Jeffrey. Yes, sir, skit. Um, it's best to go with either electric type or a flying type with this Pokemon, cause it's water bug type. And I'll go for the shockwave. I don't want to do two turns with flies, cause or do two turns with fly, cause you know I'm kind of lazy. So I'm gonna just not do that. Okay, the shockwave hits as it should have, and it's super effective and it faints the surf skit. Way to go. Okay, I think he has two more of these. I don't even know how many Pokemon he has. Honestly, okay, three. So he does have two surf skits. I'm gonna predict that he has one more surf skit after this. I'm gonna go for the shockwave again. Bubble beam hits, but it won't do much because I'm water type. I resist it. Oh, it's a critical hit though. Doesn't matter. <laughs> if it's a critical hit, it doesn't matter. So there goes the shockwave. It hits yet again, and this should take down the Sersuke, and it does. Super effective. Nice. Okay, is the last Pokemon a Sersuke? So do you have three Sersuke? Okay, I was right. You do have three Sersuke. It's just little things like that I remember in this game. It's like, you know. There's a water sport, but I'm not really planning on using my, um, plane or my combuskin right now, so. Yeah, anyway, that was pointless. And yeah, there goes the shockwave, it hits, and there goes the last escape. Okay, we finished this battle up. And almost level 35 for Peter. Lost it. Thanks for the, thanks for the $16.20. Do you have a Pokenev? Gosh, every Pokemon trainer almost, it seems like they want my Pokenav entry or number, however you want to say it. Here's a hyper potion, very nice. And I think this person just gives you a barrier, so let's just talk to her. Berries grow by soaking up sunlight. We help the berries grow by watering them regularly. It is, it's an expression of love, isn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, yes, you understand what I mean. You should take this. I can't even pronounce that berry. <laughs> anyway, we got it. Okay, I think that berry is that berry is rare. I hope you raise it with love and care. Well, since my eternal battle revenge, I pretty much I can't really, you know, do anything about the berry clock system. But I'm gonna pick these six petri berries. And petri berries, sh I think, kill poison. Let me look that up after I'm done. Be nice if I was right. Okay, there we go. Two petri berries. Nice. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, so yeah, let's go on. Let's continue on. Pokemon. Uh, yeah, there we go. Why do that? I want to go to the Petroverse, actually. My bad. Yeah, peel poison. I have 14 of them all. Here's a variety of berries right here. There's the Nana berries. Haha. <laughs> There we go. Right, here's pineapple berries. There's wee pear berries. Oh, it's got a surf down here. There's like a rare candy down here. Come on, pivot. There we go. Very handy. Nice. And there's also another item down here, so let's pick that up while we can. 
There we go. Full heal. Oh, here's a ninja boy. I think Peter stopped at the front, so here let's take on this ninja boy. I will adopt the movements of Pokemon and create new ninja techniques. I think that's an adopt, or was it a dap? Let's go for the surf on this coughing. And this should faint it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It did faint it. Level 35 for Peter. Nice. And Ninja Ask. Who do I have? Um, let's go for Speedy. Uh, let's go for the Thunderbolt. It's gonna go for the free card. It won't do much. But yeah, the Ninjask is fast. And after every turn, I believe it stores its ability speed boost. But nonetheless, we take it out. To dinner. And now speed is level 35. Nice. Ah, uh, no thank you. I don't want Covert. Covet. I don't know. Okay. Thanks for the $3.36, man. I really appreciate it. Let's put a pill on while I'm at my bag right here. Pokeballs, no. Okay, here's the items. Uh, 17 Super Pulls, nice. Now we have 16. And let's move. Let's move neck to the very front and then shroom to the second slot. Uh, let's, I know there's a Ruined Maniac coming up, so I might want to switch to shroom. See, might have a, I'm pretty sure he has like a Sand Sash or something. So here. Here we go. And who might you be? As are you perhaps searching for ancient ruins that are rumored to possibly exist according to legend? Sure. I think this part where we're at is where we get um where I know it's not Regice, but it's either Regirock or Registeel. I think this is where we get Registeel actually, because Regirock's in the um desert out north of Myville, but we'll get to that later. Got yeah, a ball toy. The beautiful form of a cradle, nice. So I'm gonna mega drain it to the face. That's my plan. Mega drain, and I get some HP back too. And this should be super effective as well. And a critical hit, nice. And it's super effective. And I get full healed. That's what I love about mega drain and moves like that. Get half the HP inflicted on your opponent. That's awesome. I don't know why I like it so much, but I just do. Here's the sand shrew, it's ground type, so I'm gonna just go with the Mega Drain again. Just to get the sand shrew out of the way. And this should faint it. Yep, there we go, nice. Almost level 35, I see, for shrooms. And now level 35, nice. Sand Slash. Well, I know that um, Knight's four times weak to ground type, and Sand Slash is up. The wall for my sand shrew and it's ground type, so I'll just keep I'll just keep on using I'll just spam Mega Drain Mega Drain again. <laughs> Sorry, my my voice is not as clear, I guess. I have to clear my throat. <coughs> yeah, there we go. I think that helped a little bit. Okay, it's gonna go for the sand attack. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the mock punch, but I'm pretty sure it might not hit. Okay, it hit nice. This should faint it. Boom. And there we go. That's all we had for Ruin Maniac Chip. What a disgraceful setback. Thanks for the $16.20, man. I really appreciate it. I like my polka dollars. Cold hard polka dollars. Yeah, and this place isn't open. This would be the entrance right here, but we'll get to that later. Hopefully, I can cover the veggies. I plan to, but that's for another day. And now let's send Knight to the front. Everyone's level 35 but Knight, so let's get Knight up to level 35. Uh, I still have a pill on, so that's awesome, so I don't want to involve Pokemon. We're done with this part of the route, so... Yeah. And here's a double battle. Who's in my second slot? I want to check real quick. Shrooms is still... Okay, okay, that's fine. Well, I think these are Psychic and Hex Maniacs, or whatever it's called. So I'm going to actually put Prime to the second slot. I don't know, just I feel more comfortable that way. Now if I can do this correctly, 
There we go. I only get a double barrel anyway. There are many parts beyond our world understanding. Ah, uh, dang it. Can't you see that I have all this stuff with me? Despite that, you still insist that we battle? Oh, a collector and a hex maniac, probably. A oh, bug maniac, okay. Yeah, hex maniac and bug maniac. Here's a dust skull. So I'm itching my ear right now. That's what that noise was, because I'm, I'm wearing headphones right now. So I have to itch my ear because it was itchy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's choose takedown on the dust talks and uh, water gun on the dust talks. I want to kind of get that dust talks out of the way, so that's why I'm, I'm gaming up on the dust talks. This should have fainted, hopefully. Oh man, he's thinking I'm a ghost type of dust skull or a fighting type or something. No more like a dust. I don't know. Okay, we'll end. Okay, fine. So, we're gonna have to split the experience, but that's okay. Let's go for the Thunderbolt on the, um, let's go for the Headbutt on the Dust Ox and the Ice Beam on the Dust Skull. And the Dust Ox just protect. Where to go, Dust Ox? You're being strategic there. Yeah, Uh, let's see how much the ice beam does. Half. Okay. Ah, uh, no. I don't like Confuse Ray. It's evil. It's very, very evil. Okay, so I'm gonna use Speedy's turn to heal up its confusion. So if I can find my yellow foot, here it is. Let's use it on Speedy, and then I'll use an, I'll use my other ice beam on the dust or my ice beam from my prime one Duskull. There we go. Okay, I shut it now, huh? Okay. Okay, you can use roll one again. Okay, fine. Um, let's use mock punch on the dust ox, and ice beam on the shut it. There we go. It's just enough to faint it. That's all that matters. Two more Pokemon. Okay, so these two are left. Okay, just killed itself basically. <laughs> that takes away one fourth of my HP each turn after every turn. Um, I'm just gonna go for the ma uh, I think Mock Punch might do a little bit more than Mega Drain will. And let's go for the Ice Beam. Hopefully this faints it so we're done with this battle. It's just, this battle's just been annoyance. There we go, here goes the beautiful eye. Okay, I have lost. Of course I lost. I'm holding stuff in both hands. Thanks for the $24.36, guys. Really appreciate it. Here's some more berries. Let's pick them up. Uh, spear berries. I don't want to plant a berry. I refuse to plant a berry. Prison berries. Here's Ralst berries that like heal like your burn or heal burn. How nice. And yeah, let's go right here. The chest of berries. The chest of berries, guys. And gals. Um, is there an item back here? Here's an HP up that you're worth picking up. It's hidden, so you don't have to click where I was. And. I'll keep Ned up front, I guess. It's about this trainer right here. Stop if you have a good look at my precious Pokemon. Okay. Kecleon. Okay, how can I do this? Um, I'm gonna try for an Iron Tail. It hit, yes, it hit. Nice. Okay. 
That's awesome. That's perfect. Now it's a skill type because it's color change ability. It's gonna use Giga for the bind, but I resist it. So it only did one hit point. But then it does more because it's squeezed by the binds so after six. And since it's still type, I'm gonna go for the mud up and it's gonna be super effective. There we go. There goes the Kelkoran. So Viper, ooh. ooh. it's poison type, so it's poison type moves more effective because I'm steel type. That's awesome. Let's go for the mud slap. I want to lower its accuracy first. I'm going to go for another mud slap after this, and then I'll go for like headbutter takedown. It goes the crunch, which I was just that too, but it still could do. Yeah, it did a, it did a little chunk, but not much. So another mud slap will take down its, or make its accuracy even lower more. And it's going to go for the crunch again, but it misses. And I'm going to go for the takedown. And this should do it. There we go. Sorry, beauty Jessica. Oh, how dare you? Don't take it so seriously. Sorry. Thanks for the $23.20. I like it. I, yeah, okay, whatever. I like it. <laughs> I took it easy on you this time. I won't be that way next time. The next time. Whatever. Oh. Oh, it's Team Aqua. Okay, okay. We're, we're to move out to Mount Pyre. And they move out to Mount Pyre. Good job. I think there's an item here, but I don't have cut with me, so I can't get it. Here's an item, by the way. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the part right here, though. So this has been my Pokemon Emerald part. The next part will take on the double bar right there. Maybe even this fire that's right up there, as you can see right there on the top, top left of your screen. And yeah, so this has been Dranko again. I would like to mention again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough guide.